So guys, here I am back again, close to Han River. I just been dropped by my, by my girlfriend. She's going home for tonight. She's gonna sleep in her parents' home. So I'm alone. Uh, yeah, so I thought about to show you again a little bit this beautiful city. This street around, not just the Han River, because this is a nice area, yeah, the Han River and all these things. I made some photos here for a thumbnail. But it's not the only place. So there are some streets in the back side, or the more uh, central streets, which can be nice for you to see with many shops and all these things. So, so I put on my 3.5 fake Nike shirt and let's roll. Enjoy the video. I see some fishermen here, another there, another one there, like a small boat, fisherman. So basically, this is like a alley on the Han River, on the other side of the Han River, like the most central part of the city. Let's explore it a little bit, a little bit. The restaurant boat, happy yacht or something where you can go have a drink to a nice view. Just gonna walk a little bit and then cross on the other side to show you the nightlife bars. Maybe I can take a better view from the other side. This is actually a nice place for taking photos. But many, many people, almost every hour, the day, the evening, some people to enjoy here and take photos and make yoga, something, exercise, whatever they do. And the lady mermaid, of course, with one breath out. Oh, very progressive for a conservative country as Vietnam. <laughs> I'm joking. And here is, guys, here are this central area where some bars, some beer bars or some small clubs, you can find them here. Where you can have some action, it depends on which kind of action you want, day and night. Alright guys, so let's close, it. let's go a little bit closer for you to see better. Now, crossing the road in Vietnam is not the easiest task in the world. You see. There's actually nobody stopping, so you have to kind of rush your way out, out a little bit. Well, sometimes they stop. It's not so, so bad. Anyway, let's see now. Here's one of the Bamboo bar. Here we can have a beer, some action, satisfaction. If you want, of course. There's another one here. I'm lucky that there's a lot of noise now with the motorbikes. Otherwise, it would be problem problem with the music here. Let's see. The dude, this one. Hello, hello. Which time open the bar? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Ah, you work here? Yeah. Oh, very nice. What, what can you tell us about this bar? The dude bar. Is it nice? Yeah. Nice bar. Where girls have a uniform and this, huh? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.
He actually had some good coconut ice cream in this place a few days ago. Well, he was here. I'm not sure, but it's about the same thing. Anyway. That girl was there even before the <laughs> closing. I mean, very punctual. 6 p.m. Now it's yeah, 6 p.m. So she was there waiting. So we continue our walk here. By the way, I like these palm trees from here. Really big. And nighttime they have these lights on. Hopefully, we continue the video a little bit later. To see. Brilliant hotel. And Happy Day Hotel. That's nice. That's a nice name. Happy Day and Happy Night, probably. Depends. <laughs> Oh great, use your horn, thank you. Hello, hello. hello. No, I just walk a little, thank you. Motor motorbike. Nice motorbike, very beautiful, classical motorbike. Where do you come from? Uh, Sweden, Honda. Honda. Very Honda. nice. Uh, okay. If you want to drum your video, I can have to put a idea to sit down. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No, I'm just, I'm just walking a little bit. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, maybe. Bye bye. So I've been offered a motorbike tour in this classic Honda. Yeah, I passed it tonight. <laughs> Let's cross again on the other side, guys. Yes. If we continue this way, it's way to this Han market, which is closed, of course. It's just normal shops here. And then. But let me show you first this another viewpoint or whatever you want to call it. Let's try to cross the road again. So basically, in Vietnam, you when you cross the road, you don't have to go too fast, not too slow, just fast enough for the cars and motorcycle to pass you around. So. And don't be afraid, they are good drivers here. There's, there's... So, again. now, night time, I like it when you start this light shows everywhere, this kind of light, lightning. In Southern East Asia, yo, talking about lightning, <laughs> it's exactly on, now here, see. I saw for most of you who have been to Southern East Asia, you know that lightning here, it's a, I mean, lights are really, they really like lights here, on the buildings, on the cars, in the buses, everywhere, so it's kind of, light you know a lot of light here you're not gonna have problems of see something so even the bridge there same as the dragon bridge you see so and uh, the palm trees actually I'm not sure is there some projection of lights or they have lights on it something The electricity here must be very cheap. 
it is cheaper than Europe anyway so more mermaids here That's it, the part of the street. Let me show you the other small streets there on the other side of the street. So guys, I've managed to cross the road. By the way, there were some South Korean tourists here waving at motorbikes to stop. <laughs> no, just two of them. Just two of them did. But anyway, it was alright. Yeah, now yeah, we have to cross the road on the other side. Uh -oh. Hostel, hostel. This one looks very nice, very local. small shopping shop shops here boutiques with I assume which is original stuff Rolex here and yeah so oh, a beautiful temple here actually you see oh my god very beautiful Here's a Vietnam post office. I'm not gonna go inside because I don't have anything to ship from. But uh, I'm gonna cross the road again here to show you another spectacular views of the Da Nang city. So, like I said. Not too fast, not too slow, but sometimes you're gonna speed up a little bit. So, uh, <clears throat> I walked a little bit more towards this other bridge, and uh, I want to show you here some high buildings again. Actually, I was here yesterday with my girlfriend. And we took like a short cruise, boat trip here. It's uh, only about 150,000 dong and it's, yeah, I've just go about two kilometers this way, two kilometers the other way. You can check the last video, sightseeing, um, Han River, Da Nang. And uh, yeah, it's a nice, interesting place to take some photos. And of course, it's better in the night time if you go, not daytime. Here we are, this not sure exactly. I think it's actually under construction. This, this building here. Another one there, Bak Dang complex.
memory lounge, whatever this may be. But it's a nice place to see also to chill, have some drinks. There's the Hilton. Oh, really impressive. Hilton and Starbucks here. Building here also. And a speeding bus towards there. Oops, garden, beautiful place, looks like a garden, you see, and a few more here around. Um, actually, I want to get closer to these buildings here to show you a little bit closer how they look. I drove around many times past these buildings, but I never really stopped there to show you like the financial center of Danang or whatever you want to call it. And here also this interesting building where so many people take photos and selfies and all this kind of filming. But I never stopped to see what it is. I mean, I assume it's a, it could be a hotel or something, but it's empty. You see now many girls with traditional dresses doing a group photo. Let's see how they react to the camera. I don't think they saw it. Beautiful dresses. And beautiful palm trees here and views. Incredible. Now, this is the building I was telling you about, guys. I really don't know what this is. I mean, it's... It could be a hotel. It would be really nice to be a hotel. I assume it is a hotel. What else could this be? I mean, right? But it's empty. I, I see some lights here on the ground floor, but I don't see any action. I mean, it's a little bit like a storage place, you see? So I don't think, yeah, of course, it's closed now. It's probably under renovation or something. Here it's actually open, but I'm not gonna go inside. Uh, yeah, so. Now let's see, guys. I'm gonna give the camera a rest now until we reach these two beautiful skyscrapers building to show you what it's all about. Here we are, guys. I check this. Actually, this is the Novotel Hotel, hotel, and this other tower that I'm not sure exactly what it is, but looks gorgeous. Probably the most beautiful and modern building in the whole Danang city. And again, my girlfriend told me some, something to do with the government, or I don't know, it could be, I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna... Actually, it says there uh, something like center or something, but it's on Vietnamese, so... I think it actually looks like a governmental building or something. And I see some checkpoint there on the side, so it could be. It says, turn for Danang, Danang Administration. Okay, Danang Administration Center, so basically, yeah. Is some kind of a like a administration, what could it be like city hall and other institutions together? So, yeah, that's impressive. And this also, another one. I got a little bit closer, that's really impressive. Yeah, I mean, Trung Tam Han Ching, Han Po Danang, Danang Administration Center. Yeah. Very impressive, like a big, really big hole here. With the Vietnamese flag and then hole, I don't know how many stories, but I assume maybe more than 50, 60, maybe 100, I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's check out the area. Some other skyscrapers.
skyscrapers here. Um, this was the reason I wanted to come here to check out these impressive buildings. And now let's go back to the busy streets in the uh, closer area here in the center. So now I'm on this bridge guys that I've never been on foot. I'm a little bit a little bit on the wrong way here so those motorbikes are coming towards me but I'm careful so just want to take a few shots here on the from this bridge actually. I'm not sure which part is better, this one or this one? Well if I find that this other part is more interesting, I'm just gonna run away to the other side so So guys, I was there, passed through those buildings here, walking around a little bit. And here's the gorgeous view from this other bridge, which name I don't know, to be honest with you. And uh, I don't think it's the best idea to, to cross here. I mean, it's kind of a lot of traffic, so... Uh, I think I have to go around, guys. It's not... I could, of course, but it's not... I don't want to endanger myself or other people crossing the traffic like this, you know, so See you when I cross on the other side, on the other small streets uh, close to the city center So an interesting shop high here, like a liquor shop Looks very nice, wine and spirits And as you, as you already know the central state streets of Vietnam are packed with restaurants, spas, massage, sushi place, you name it, stores, coffee shops, uh, yeah, I mean, this is hotels of course, shopping centers, malls. So at the same time you have these streets where it's really expensive items like Rolex and all this kind of, you know, original stuff. And uh, a little bit further you have this Chohan, the Han market where you can buy Louis Vuitton and Rolex for, I mean, Rolex maybe 50 to 100 dollar fake. And uh, all these bags with just a few dollars, of course they are fake. So basically it's kind of for every, every pocket. If you're rich, you get the best. If you're working class or poor, you still get some things. I mean, not the best, of course, but yeah. Oh, it's green, actually. Uh, but still, some. I still open, actually, this one. This Chohan. Maybe today, because it's Friday, it's still open. I'm not sure, but you see, I'm not gonna go inside again. This. Hun Market because I did a video a few days ago of that so I don't really need anything now. But look at all these wine whiskey shops and, and again this Yo, No thank you. So here you can get a Louis Vuitton bag for maybe a hundred or two hundred or dollar or more. And there you can get it for a few dollars. <laughs> of course, I'm joking, it's not the same quality, but anyway, you know what I mean. Oncoming traffic again. Well, uh, oh, one day I'm gonna take a ride in one of these things. I don't know how they call it, rickshaw or something. Uh, but it's like a basically a bicycle where somebody's uh, yeah, you just sit there 
Alright, now let's try to cross now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Now. Alright. So here you have the luxury boutiques, as you saw. Uh, anyway, I'm not so crazy about luxury guys. I mean, not that I could afford it, but anyway. But I'm happy with my 3.5 dollar T-shirt that I bought from Cho Town Market a few days ago. So yeah, I can afford some things, but. I'm never gonna pay like uh, hundreds of dollars for a pair of shoes or a pair of jeans or something like that. Really big jewelry shop. Another one here.
I'm back on the street. I don't know if you notice from here, but this hotel it kind of have these palm trees on every balcony or some kind of a trees. I'm not sure. I mean, small ones, of course, but you see here, Kayan River Front Hotel. It's very interesting. You see, in every each balcony have this kind of. Wow, that's a really good idea. And this one, the brilliant hotel that I told you about a little bit earlier. Now this area, of course, is a little bit more lively. Evening uh, has arrived, so it's the time now, about seven. So I'm gonna try to film it a little bit closer from this side, of course, to see the whole buildings. Yeah, looks very good. And uh, well, now it's Friday; it's not Saturday night, but still, people maybe a little bit later to show up. Guys, I think they work for this place that so they kind of help you with the parking, something. I'm not sure. But uh, this is this bar, the dude. Uh, well, you can, well, I heard that you can get some action. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm not into this kind of action with this. But anyway, I'm not gonna go close because it's music and yeah, I have to edit too much videos after. <laughs> We have this sexy hostess girl dressed in nice dresses and you know the rest, right? We have this universal bamboo where we can play some pool and and here are the beautiful boats that I went actually for a ride a few days ago. So yeah, if you are in Da Nang, you can't miss this. Like a short boat ride. Boat ride, it just started there, like about, and they go about two kilometers in this way, under the Dragon Bridge a little bit more, 500 meters, and then back there. So it's not like a really long, but it's, it's a nice experience. I mean, what can I say? Just, just try it. And it costs only about seven, eight dollars, so it's nothing to nothing to lose. All right, guys. So this was my long, short video from the city, from the Bak Tank area, these packed streets, and I tried to show you a little bit of this area, like some bars, some hotels, some yeah, nice views. I hope you liked it and I don't want to make the video longer than I should and uh, yeah now I'm gonna go have a drink uh, not in this bar in the dude bar <laughs> I'm too tired anyway for this uh, anyway if you know what I mean so yeah I'm just gonna go have a drink somewhere you know and have fun listen to some music maybe actually in this bamboo bar here over here all right guys so thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.